Hi, hi. We're from the Asia Pacific. Uh, I'm from Australia. My name's Ludo McFerrin. I've been working with uh, domestic violence clauses in uh, collective bargaining for the past six years. I'm at Sydney University and this is my friend. Yes, I'm Annalie Tavera. I'm with the International Trade Union Confederation Asia Pacific in Singapore. I'm in charge of gender equality activities. So we've been pretty successful in Australia. Trade union movement's been fantastic. We now have something like 750 current agreements in Australia with a domestic violence clause. And when you include awards and governments, we cover over 2 million workers. So that's great. The downside is there's no training, there's no resources, and there's no monitoring. So we could but be the good doing news a lot is better. That the ACTU, the Australian Council of Trade Unions, has a case before the Fair Work Commission, that's our National Industrial Tribunal, for domestic violence to go into minimum standards that will affect all workers in Australia. So fingers crossed we'll get away with that. Um, the bad news again though is that our Commonwealth Government has just refused to include domestic violence into the collective bargaining process with trade unions and it's really disappointing because we think the Commonwealth should be showing leadership and it's not. What about you Anna? What's happening that's really good news in the Asia Pacific for you. Well, we you brought it actually to us, remember? Yeah. So we had the first uh, uh, Asian pilot survey in the Philippines. It was very exciting. I think I enjoy every moment of it. So it came perfectly because the, the Philippines um, passed the law in 2004. So when we did a survey last year, it was a good opportunity to look at the level of awareness of workers about the law, in particular, uh, how they, they, they benefit from the, the paid leave. Um, it was amazing. Um, we've, we've had uh, many per uh, respondents who participated in the survey. The findings were, was equally amazing because it gave us very important information about mm -hmm. many things. It uh, once again reaffirms that domestic violence affects workers, work and workplaces. Um, it gave us also very important information about the level of awareness of people on domestic uh, violence leave. In fact, very few uh, workers actually know about it. I mean, it's been 12 years mm. since the passage of mm. the law. It's only about lowly 40% know about it. Yeah. And very few people, those uh, domestic violence victims, actually applied for, for paid leave, about, I guess, 23%. That's yeah. bad. Yeah. isn't it so that been good it's been really raised the issue in the philippines exactly and i hear that you're also going to be doing some new domestic violence and work surveys in other parts of that's the region that's actually equally more uh, amazing because of the philippine survey many of our athletes have been inspired to replicate the survey in their country so now we have just completed discussions in in taiwan it was really amazing there there has been a lot of positive commitments yeah. the governments um they decide they they committed that they want to work with the unions to use the funds to improve the, the laws and regulations. Brilliant. We will have another meeting in Mongolia next week wow. and then another meeting in India. So, so many affiliates wanted to do the survey and it's really just overwhelming. Great. Yeah.